Ladies, today I'm going to show you how to make this headboard right behind me. My husband and I made that a few days ago. First, what you're going to need is some batting. But yeah, 100 inches, that's what I use, just to be safe so I have enough room to cover the, the whole thing. I went for like a cream color because my room to be just nice and fresh looking all year long. Originally, I'm going to make it like bright white and then I realized I don't want it to be too white. Yeah, the bedding that I'm going to buy is going to be white so I don't want it to be really, really white altogether. So, so I decided for cream and the fabric store and this was, I also got 100 inches. Yeah, just so I have enough room, I mean I have enough fabric to cover my headboard. So yeah, and this one I believe was $2.99 per yard. So yeah, so that's what I got. And um, of course you're going to use a, a board. You can use plywood, MDF. My husband decided to make it um, because this is a king size bed, so if we use MDF, it's gonna be really heavy. And to achieve the diamond pattern, if you can see, there's if you notice, there's like a diamond pattern on the back. So this is what I use. It's got a square, so this is eight inches. They're all even, of course, eight inches all around. And then you just kind of do that, and then. Once you're ready to once you're ready to put the tack on the on the pap on the fabric, I mean on the board, you just kinda do it like so and then put the tack right here, you know, you just you know use this point as your guide. So that's the this is the easy technique to achieve the diamond pattern. I really have a video of how to upholster a bench. It's pretty much the same idea. I might link that on the description box so you just you know, you just look at it and you will know. It's, it's just pretty much the same idea, only it's bigger because it's a headboard. Like a staple gun. And for the, for the staples, I just use the, the quarter inch. As a king size headboard, it's gonna be really hard for me to show how I exactly did it. So it's going to make a miniature version so you can really see what I'm doing. Actual size of my headboard back there is actually 75 inches long and 35 inches tall. And then for the legs, I got these little sticks here. Um, they are 24 inches. So what you're gonna do is just got to nail it together. So like that. Now you have a headboard, and then you just you know, upholster it. So this is a miniature version. I'm going to use a hot glue gun. I also have a pretend tax, but I'm going to use this little rhinestone. This is the fabric that I chose. This is the leftover fabric. Um, it's just a cream one, but of course you can use any color that you want. And then batting. It's just like wrapping a present. I usually start right in the middle. So, so once you lay it like that, start right on the middle of the, the board. So it will hold the fabric. So I have my glue gun here. Fold it like this first on the corner, and then you just kind of tuck the other two fabrics like this. So you have a nice smooth side there. So now once you you staple the fabric and the batting. You're gonna have something like this. So now you're gonna have something like this. It's now it's time to attach the legs. If you like this video and I hope you find this tutorial helpful because yeah I kind of struggle to film it you know while we're actually doing it because it's it's so big that's why I decided to do a miniature one so thank you so much for watching bye